for your information, my revenue stream currently generates $2 million a year in charitable contributions for my community. I damn. And why am I in this movie? Maybe I just knew I had to represent. Because they had one good party in for a black man, they gave it to Crocodile Dundee. Pumpy Breaks, kid. That man's a national treasure. He's young, hilarious, and the Black Rail Award winner for best breakthrough performance. You've seen him in films like Roll Bounce and This Christmas, and now Ben Stiller's Tropic Thunder. <laughs> Something happening here. What it is ain't exactly clear. I'm coming, man. Don't you die on me, Foley! I'm sorry, can we cut? Saving. We cut. What is going on here? Hey, I'm about to jump off this, this helicopter like Wesley Snipes. I'm doing the scene right now. What I'm scene? In it. The scene is about emotionality. Where is it? Hey everybody, I'm Robert X. Goffin for Real Black TV, and with me is actor and funny man, Brandon T. Jackson. Thanks for joining us. What's up, Robert? How you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Robert good. Jordan. Yeah. He's such a great voice. Robert X. Robert X Jordan. Now, you, you've been doing your thing for a while, uh -huh. uh, but your celebrity is starting to really rise now. Yeah, it's weird. H how'd you get started, and uh, who discovered you? Uh, I've been doing comedy since I was like 15 uh, um, in like the church. Actually, I started in church doing it, believe it or not. And basically, um, a lot of people say Chris Tucker discovered me. What happened is this, it was a show that I did, I opened for Chris Tucker and he introduced me and he was saying like I was like the next him and stuff and, and it got out of hand and then Malcolm Lee said it. So I, I you know, I don't really, I kind of do what I do, but I started like doing it when I was 15, came out to LA when I was about 17. From that, uh, I did three minutes at the Lab Factory and I, I got discovered by this Asian named Lelaney the Coast, the CAA. And then Malcolm Lee got me on the first my first movie, then Ben Stiller, my first mainstream movie. So what can I say, man? Would you say it happened fast? Or? I say it happened fast, and I'm going to say uh, God discovered me. Okay. That's what did. Now, what brought you on board the Tropic Thunder project? Um, when I read the script, it, it was hilarious, man. Ben Stiller, it was just, just, I mean, I know he's an amazing director, and I just had to audition for it. And, then, and I just kept auditioning, auditioning, and I, and I got the part. And it was, just, it was a blessing, man. You know? There's been some rumbling over Robert Downey Jr. playing blackface in the film. Yeah. What, what, what was your reaction to that? At first, I was like, um, kind of weird about it, but at the same time, when I saw him playing a role, I was like, okay, this dude is a beast. I mean, being a black actor like that, I mean, he, he became a black man. He didn't put like, really like being blackface, he like really actually became black. Some of us might not make it back. What do you mean? Like, not on the same flight? I know who I am! I'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. When I saw it, I mean, when I started watching how he did the character, I started going, whoa. And then when he was staying the character the whole time, you know, we'd be, Benny yelled cut, and he'd still be going like, yeah, I'm going to go to the trailer and give me some uh, barbecue ribs and some chicken and some uh, barbecue sauce. You want to go with me, Brandon? I'm like, the hell is this dude? Right. This dude is being very committed, you know what I mean? You've been tired of being the trail donkeys, acting like you some one-man GPS? Damn it! We lost! We flew for lost, man! Tell them, McCluskey. Tell them what time it is. I don't believe you people. Huh. What do you mean, you people? What do you mean, you people? So, I was like, uh, you know, when I saw the movie and I saw how he was doing it in the dailies, I was like, man, this dude's a genius and uh, Ben is a genius, all them genius for writing and, and just the concept of doing some, you know, a movie like this, I mean, it only comes like every blue moon, so I'm just thankful to have it. Man, I'm sick of this koala hugging this. Now, obviously, there's a challenge for people of color in the entertainment business. Yeah. How did you get control, or did you have control over your character in oh, this no, film? Ben gave me a lot of creative freedom with the character, man. Um, I mean, some stuff they, they they wanted to play it a certain way, but at the same time, you know, it was it was it was he gave me a lot of creative freedom. For 400 years, that word has kept us down. What the? Took a whole lot of time just to get up that hill. Now we up in the big leagues. Kid, I'll turn it back. Long as we live, it's you and me, baby. <laughs> That's the theme song for the Jefferson. You really need help. And just because the theme song don't make it not true. And anybody out there who has an issue with the blackface thing, I mean, what's your message to them? Watch the movie. If you still have an issue, then, I mean, I, I mean, there's a lot of issues we can have. Get some money, get these gas prices, man. 
you too much and make sure you just vote for Barack if you're going to have an issue. So, Obama. And what's your advice to fellow actors out there or fellow entertainers that want to follow in your footsteps? Just, you know, believe in what you can do, do the work. Like Chris Tucker told me. Yeah, man. Uh, this is what you do. You be focused, stay up, uh, believe in God, and, uh, and God bless you. I'm out. Yeah, man. Yeah. Have any uh, last words, upcoming projects, shout outs? Oh, no, man. I'm, you know, doing Rush Hour 6, Rush Hour 3, Lee! Kata! Lee! Yo, what's up? It's your boy Brandon T. Jackson. You're watching RealBlackTV.com. Watch it. Absolutely nothing. Listen to me. Whoa. It ain't nothing.